Hi, we're Laura and Dan. We've bought a beautiful rustic Portuguese barn and have literally zero knowledge of building and farming, but plan on converting it into a beautiful off-grid homestead. Follow us on our journey. Today marks the start of our outdoor kitchen project. Early in the morning, wood was delivered to the land. This is a project that is going to massively improve our lives, especially once the heat arrives again in the summer. Well, I ain't gonna live like this no more. Most of my life's been waging war. Till I found peace, I could have swore. What she did shook me to the core. And I ain't gonna live like that no It takes a lot of hard work and energy to build a homestead. You just have to take small steps each day. Well, I ain't gonna live like this no more. Trouble comes when the barmaid pours. Another four man who should have found the door. Oh, when I get going, you can hear me roar. And you know I can't live like this no more. With the first lot of wood loaded at the truck, it was time to move it up the land. Oh, I ain't gonna live like this no more. Bad. So our friend Dan has got an idea <laughs> to get the, to haul the wood up to the land because the, the wood's so big. He's gonna he says he's gonna sit in the back of the truck and, and make sure the wood doesn't fall off. So as a safety precaution, we we'll haven't signed no disclaimers. <laughs> this is we're going to get Dan's word on camera here that I, um, I don't have to pay him anything if uh, if he if he ends up breaking his back. <laughs> I'm just ready to shout stop at any moment. As soon as it starts to move, I'm going to shout stop. Now that the first lot of wood was safely dropped off, it was time to come back for the second lot. Second lot to do, <laughs> we're still alive. <laughs> Dan enjoyed his ride. When it comes to hauling heavy objects on the land, there's not much that I can do and it's in these moments where I have so much gratitude for Dan and the role of the masculine in general. Second lot in the truck. <laughs> Time to haul this up here and then me and Dan's got the long awaited job of taking them all the way to the top of the barn because the track's too muddy. So uh, lots of fun to come. Are you ready Dan? I'm okay! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dan, Dan's got the hard job on the roof. We've got the easy job. Yeah. I'm just uh, taking it easy and smooth while Dan's uh, holding the wood in place. Hold on for dear life. <laughs> Hold on for dear life. <laughs> Sugar, 
Why you look so sad Come on now, mama Ain't nothing here so bad You got fast cars Dan, how was your ride? Fun. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Second, time, second ride's always better than the first. After unpacking the second lot of wood, it was time to haul it up to the top of the land where the outdoor kitchen will be built. Heavy lifting and many trips back and forth through the boggy land was the theme of the day. When living on the land, we found that no job is just a five minute job. Last one, done and dusted. Hooray! <laughs> oh, that actually feels good, doesn't it? That's why I did it earlier. <laughs> so after the men doing the real work, Laura's made us some pasties as a, um, <laughs> what's the word you're looking for? A reward. As a reward, yeah, as a reward. <laughs> Time they're done. Oh, yes. Oh, Laura's made the boys some food. <laughs> Cut them in half so it's easier to eat. What we're going to do is we're going to prepare the wood for the outdoor kitchen. I'm so looking forward to doing this job because after experiencing the summer here last year and not having any, any area for shade apart from the van which is too hot in there, I'm super looking forward to getting this up and having somewhere that's actually shady in the summer. As you can see this is all the wood that we had delivered. You saw Dan and Dan haul that up which was really exhausting. I was exhausted just watching them. What we're going to do now is we're just going to put some notches in it to prepare it to build the structure for the outdoor kitchen. Is that how you prepare the wood, Laura? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slap it up, she's sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that Laura? You don't want to do it. I am. It's got a lovely smell to it. It must be, each piece of wood must be a little bit different because each has a different type of smell. This one smells like school school breakfast in the morning, like Laura said last time. <laughs> breakfast club. <laughs> this one's breakfast club. <laughs> <laughs> this piece of wood's breakfast club. This one's dinner club. And the ones in the corner are tea club. After school club. <laughs> After school club. Besides the joke though, the wood has got a really nice smell to it. So it's uh, nice and perfumey in here. <laughs> I'm tired just watching you do that. That took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take. Um, I tried to use my miter saw to do it, but the miter saw didn't have a big enough extension on it to be able to do it, so I had to revert to the trusty old saw. And uh, it's taken some time to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> you look absolutely shattered. <laughs> Oh, is this for me? 
I've got you a honey hot water and a pastel de natta. Oh, you look after me too well, don't you? For the wager. Grafting hard in here and uh, getting good air looked after. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorry, Fagus, there's not much I can do. <laughs> Apart from what? <laughs> oh. You make a good honey hot water. Thanks. <laughs> So what I'm doing now is I'm just chiseling off the little bits that are sticking out. Um, we've done all four of them now, so all the four beams have now been uh, cut in, ready to, to create a joint. And all I'm doing now is I'm just taking off the excess. And then once I've done this, Laura's going to be sanding. Now we're finished putting the notches in the four big beams, what we're going to do is we're going to come to these beams here and just round off the edges so it looks nice when it's sitting on the roof. Things not working the first time round seems to be a theme of off-grid living. Something always needs to be tweaked. 20 minutes later. With the generator now firing again, it's time to get to work. To prepare for the next day, Dan needed to fix our hole digger and drill and bolt it back together. The next day we planned out where we wanted the outdoor kitchen. What are we doing today, Mrs Laura? <laughs> today, Mr Daniel, we're making an outdoor kitchen so we're going to put posts up for like a little shade area for it. So I just kind of measure it to make sure it's all square and stuff before we start doing stuff. That's irreversible. Before we put it in and it's on a massive wonk. Yeah. So we're just double checking, making sure everything's all right before we like have a massive cock up. Like all the last jobs we've done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're being extra careful with this one. This one is a good one. Oh well. We'll be okay. We'll sort out. <laughs> We're doing the measure test. Doing the traditional method, measure and method. Because we want to see, once we bury the post in the ground, how much room we're going to have. So obviously we don't see this on building videos, but we just want to see how much height room we'll have once we work out how much we're going to bury in the ground. Or how much, or how much Laura's going to bury me in the ground. <laughs> yeah, <you'll, laughs> depending on how this product, project goes, I might be burying you in the ground you instead of the post. Someone's been rooting in our compost pile, haven't you? You've been mischievous, haven't you? So Molly's been really naughty, hasn't she, Laura? Yeah, okay, she keeps going down into the compost pile and she looks to see if you're watching her and then she'll jump in. So I have to keep going. Every time we see her run to the bottom of the line, we're like, hey, <laughs> get out. Yeah, we have to keep checking on her. She loves, you're mischievous, uh, aren't you? She loves rooting through our crap. You do, Quite don't you? literally. <laughs> <laughs> Not get any kisses off her.
So while Stan's digging the post, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to coat the posts in an oil just to protect them a little bit more when they go on the ground. I'm not sure what the colour of this is going to look like, so what I've brought, done is I've just brought a little block with this just so I can do a test on there and see what it's going to look like before I put it on the posts. super happy with how this has come out normally when they say clear you know and I'm have a little bit of a tint into them but this looks like it's pretty clear so I'm happy with that so we're gonna go ahead and do the posts I think it's gonna be what? Do you want know it is darling? I'm so glad that that's clear because I think these look these look awesome. Clear do you? Freshly squeezed orange juice from my husband, who's working hard. And just in time, Laura, I've just hit a root. Oh, okay. <laughs> you need your strength then. It's uh, not good, looking good. So Dan's just finished doing all the post holes. Now it's just time to wait for the beams to dry and then we can get them in. While we were waiting for the wood to dry, we decided to move on to some other jobs. Laura, where you at? <laughs> you look, in the bush. You look all camouflaged behind that. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, is that all I can see, all you can see in the distance there is as, I'm, as I'm working, I can just see your, your, your top of your bobble hat just bobbling around. I'm just a wandering bush. <laughs> <laughs> just your head poking out the top. That's funny. So what are you up to? I'm getting olive trees from the bottom terraces just to bring up here. Because we've registered a fire and we're gonna, gonna have a little burn pile up tonight. As the sun's going down. Because we've got a lot of loves to burn, haven't we? Mm-hmm. It's all, all, always land clearing, isn't it? Yeah, we haven't even scratched the surface, but it's just... Got to keep ticking away every day, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, that's it. you just got to keep ticking away at it. So we've got the fire going now. I'm really happy with it. It's on the perfect spot on the land as well, because this is a bit of... Um, I think it's granite stone that's just left uncovered. So it's perfect for burning because it doesn't scorch the land. And I think when we've uncovered this before, we've cleared it out. We've noticed that the previous farmer burned here as well because of all the ash that was found there. But yeah, nice to have a fire on in the night time and do some land clearing at the same time. So as we're just settling down for the night, we'd, as Laura said, mentioned before, we decided to have a little fire to get rid of some land clearance. We always love to kind of choose to do it on a night time so that we can kind of use it as a excuse to have a little fire and watch the stars and keep warm on a night time. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something really special about being able to just kind of sit on your own land, appreciate the day, the hard work that's gone into the land, the mistakes, the errors and uh, learn from everything and then just kind of wake up the next morning fully refreshed again and go at it again. Yeah. What I like about having the fire on the night time is like it's like we're waking and we're clearing the land but we're also enjoying the fire as well. Getting two birds with one stone. Yeah. We're gonna end this week's video here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.